So, first of all, let's let me do my introduction. Hello, guys. My name is Agent Psycho, aka Toast Number Ninety Eight. This is the after video of um, the permanent M416 CQB contest that I held earlier today, and we have our winner, and the winner is a gentleman by the name of Smexy. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. His YouTube channel will be in the in the description below. And so, yeah. After when did I start? Two o'clock for the last past two and a half hours. We held the contest. I split them to two rounds and uh, gathered winners from the first round, and I got them all into one room in the second round, so we could duke it and have them duke it out in a junk fleet one-man army snipers only. So yeah. Um, once again, Smexy is our final winner. I did gift him a permanent M416 CQB camo. However, I'm not going to end the video here. Uh, first of all, though, I will for just just to get this out of the way, I have recorded all the games for this entire contest, and they will be going up uh, throughout this week. So if you guys are interested in watching those, I will be uploading them steadily throughout the week on Schedule Uploader, so you guys can expect to see those. So well, now that now that that's out of the way, um, I've decided to just go ahead and upload this video first, just to conclude the contest, and let everyone know who won, and uh, just tell people that it's now over. However, there's some something else that I wanted to touch up upon, and uh, I've done a commentary like this in the past. Uh, since then, since I made that last video, though, I have gained a lot more subscribers. So not all of you know what I'm talking about. And this is what I this is what I want to talk about in this video. Apparently, there were suspicions that some of the round one winners were suspicious. Uh, they were accused. I was getting reports from other people. I will not mention who, for fear I might embarrass them even more. I was getting reports that some of the round one winners were hackers, were DDoSers were basically things people you know the kind of people you don't want to hang out with especially not on, on a community like combat arms uh so yeah i got those reports and they bother me for more than one reason first reason is because you know now that that means that i always ha now i must conduct this contest in a manner that I need to suspect everyone of hacking. Everyone of being up to no good, they're doing some sort of bullshit shenanigans and just it basically, it basically takes my mind off of concentrating on what I need to do, which is running the contest. My job here is to run a contest, not dealing with fucking accusations and Allegations that people are hacking, people are hackers, they are DDoSing other people, they are trying to ruin other people's experience. To be honest with you, I would much rather not have to worry about that shit. Because it just makes my own job so much goddamn harder. I appreciate your concern. If you're one of those people who are, you know, worried that the integrity of this contest may be compromised by the fact that there are possible hackers and other shady people or shady people shady shady they sound the same so we'll just call it that participate in said contest I'm sorry but I don't know of them okay my job here, I'm going to repeat this again and again so that I have, you have no excuse that I didn't clarify this enough. I, my, own, my only job, my intended job was to or is to conduct a contest in which I determine a winner so that I can give out a gift out a permanent M416 CQB camo in this case. And it turns out that Smexy won it. No questions asked. He won it. In my eyes, it was completely legit. It was completely fair. And he, as far as I'm concerned, he is a rightful owner of this prize. And I gave it to him. Now, he owns a free permanent M416 CQB camo. There's nothing anyone can say about it because it's already been done. So, 
I again I mentioned this I mentioned the fact I I talked about the problem of holding NX contests like this is the fact that even though my intentions are good all along the way there will always be a few people a handful of people who are jaded or I guess you can say pushed away by how I run my own NX contests. I wish it could have, it could be so simple as to just pick a random winner and g give out prizes like that, but I don't want to do that because first of all, random picking it's it's not good because I don't know if this person is only is only being playing common arms just for the sake of this prize and he's never going to play common arms again. I don't want that. I want to ensure that the people who win my prizes, or who win my NX contests, are people who are going to consistently play combat arms and make sure that they're not going to let my gift go to waste. The worst thing I want to see happen to the, my money that I dedicate to gifting other people through contest, contests like this is when they don't, they end up quitting combat arms and they don't ever use it. That's when I get truly ticked off. And that's what really makes me not want to hold these NS contests along with other reasons, such as dealing with motherfucking accusations. Guys, I'm going to make this perfectly clear if I haven't done so already. I don't give a damn for your fucking accusations. As far as I can tell, these guys are clean. These guys are legit. And if you want to complicate matters by telling me that this guy, you think that this guy hacks for whatever goddamn reason, you know what? Unless I know about it for sure, and if unless I want to take the time to go ahead and research it myself because I'm so interested, I will do it. But only if I want to. Otherwise, I do not give two shits about your opinion on your accusations. Let's put it that way. I have enough shit to deal with running an NX contest. Some of you may, th some of you watching this video may think that holding an NX contest isn't that hard. Well, once you're getting knocked off because people are trying to send you invites. People are spamming your motherfucking inventory with pieces of shit that you don't need. On top of trying to manage an NX contest from scratch. I thought of this shit today. Because the M460 CQB camo is obviously only for permanent purchase for one day. I was like, hey, this is a really good gun. You know, people want this for perm. Let's see, because I got some money that I want. And, you know, it's been some time since I've last done an NX giveaway. Let's do one. You know? Every time I hold an NX contest like this, I always expect that there's always going to be a few things going wrong. And in this case, it turned out to be, well, the first game got held up for like 40 fucking minutes because some people are telling me these, these some other people are hacking. Guys, I don't care. Unless I specifically know that those people did hack, I'm going to let them play. I, can, I am not in a position to trust everyone and every word. I don't know if these people are telling the truth or if these people are just saying it just to spite them and make sure that they're kicked from the contest and they can make me DQ them unintentionally and unlawfully. I don't know that. I, don't, I can't trust you. So... I know I'm going to say this now, but I know that my my wishful thinking will be in vain. But for the love of motherfucking God, please let me run my NX contest. Please do not waste my time telling me that someone hacks. Because yeah, it's motherfucking big news that someone hacks in combat arms. It's not like ton tons of other people don't do it anyway, right? <sighs> I 
I'm just gonna end it here. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit, a little bit more than I'm a little bit more pissed off than I should be. Because holding NX contests like this is always tiring. Having to deal with other people's bullshit makes it even worse. And I apologize to anyone I might offend with this video. Maybe your intentions were good, but I am sorry, but there is no way for me to verify that. I like to keep my hands clean of this whole YouTube, uh, YouTube Combat Arms shenanigans. Okay? There's a reason why I don't interact with other Combat Arms YouTubers, is to leave my own dirty and leave my own hands out of this. I make enough enemies as I do making my videos online. I don't want to have to embroil myself in fucking DDoS issues and fucking accusation triangles and fucking team viewing incidents. I don't want to I don't want to dip my hands in that. No. No, I don't. So, if you're telling me that someone is hacking, you better let me deal with him. And if I find out, if I find out he's hacking, then justice will be served. This is not your NX contest. This is mine. I hope we're clear. And if we're not, then tell me so I can block you from my motherfucking channel. I do not need people like you making my day even worse than it should be. I know this all sounds very, very selfish. But believe me, we're all very selfish people. Me included. Thank you for watching. And uh, once again, congratulations to Smexy for winning the my M416 CQB camo perm contest. And uh, I, will be, I will make sure to do, or I will try to hold more contests like this in the future whenever appropriate so that, you know, other people have a chance to win. So yeah, I'd like to leave it here. Again, I hope that my message got across, and hopefully, hopefully, I don't have to deal with the same crap that I did. I, I had to today. I'm not gonna explain any further. I'm not gonna touch upon this any further. Thank you for watching. Good shit, didn't it?